So let's talk about these five things. Number one, you are accepted in Christ. Everybody deals with this rejection issue thing. Everybody has dealt with it, you know, some more than others, but everybody has some issue where somebody didn't like you or somebody said something ugly about you years ago or maybe yesterday or maybe this morning, who knows. But anyway, we get this thing going on and you know, God has higher thoughts about us than our thoughts about ourselves. In Jesus Christ, we are accepted. And you know what's cool about being accepted? God accepts us just the way we are. He accepts us as that, that quirky, weird little person that we really are. Amen. Amen? I mean, I don't know about you, I've got a lot of little quirky things. Uh, you could ask Debbie. I've, I've sworn her to silence that so she wouldn't say too much, but... Whatever works. Yeah. But, you know, we all want to be accepted just the way we are, including all the warts and all the freckles and all our stuff and our past and our baggage and everything. And you know what? Jesus Christ does that so wonderfully. Jesus has accepted us just the way we are. Now, he loves us too much to let us stay that way for very long, but he loves us just the way we are. Amen. Amen. Now listen, what we're going to do is when we hit each one, when we come to each one of these words, I have a confession here. We need to sign the check by saying something with our mouths. On your program notes that are in your bulletin, you'll see these confessions. And it is so powerful when we begin to say what the Word of God says about us. Now these are all built upon Scripture. They come out of the Word of God. And so what I want us to do this morning is to say together what the Word of God says about us. So if you've found that, if you haven't, if you don't have a program or program notes, it should be on the screen right above it. So let's begin. I am so loved by Jesus Christ that he left heaven, came to earth, and died to reconcile me to the Father. I am now fully accepted and loved by God. He has blessed me with every blessing, declared me holy and without fault, made me a part of his family as his own son or daughter, and poured out his grace upon me without measure. Nothing can ever separate me from his love. You know, when we think about what Jesus did, Jesus accepted us. And it's not just a word. He did it with actions. Let's read Ephesians chapter 1, beginning with verse 3. It says, All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ. Amen. Are you a Christian? Have you accepted Jesus Amen. into your heart? Okay, then we are united with Christ. That means every blessing of the Spirit. You know, when we, when we read this in English, it sounds like, oh, every spiritual blessing in heavenly places, way up there somewhere in Christ. Well, the word spiritual means something a little different than what we think it means. It means a blessing proceeding from or originating in the Spirit or caused by the Spirit. The Holy Spirit sends bl blessings to us all the time. They're coming from the heavenly realm, but they manifest in this material realm. So the blessings, those heavenly blessings of the Spirit that come down upon us, and it, it can result in an improved life physically for us down here on earth. Those are blessings that originate in the heavenly realm. We have to understand, you know, sometimes it helps to know the original language so that you can understand that these things are real to us today. This is not pie in the sky by and by. This is something that's real to us. He has blessed us with everything. Amen. Everything. Nothing held back. Everything. Even before he made the world, God loved us and he chose us in Christ. Even before he made the world. God's been thinking about us for a long time. Amen. Before he made the world, he loved us and chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in his eyes. Hallelujah. Who's come up to you lately and said, 
Thou art holy and without fault. <laughs> you might have heard something else, but I doubt if someone came and said to you, you are holy, blameless, and without fault. Hallelujah. But that's the way God sees us right now. Not going to be, that's right now. God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family. God, he made us part of his family. You talk about being accepted. He's opened his house to us. He's made us part of his family. He calls us his sons and daughters and given us refrigerator privileges. <laughs> that means you're part of the family. You want something? Go to the fridge. The fridge opens when you say, in Jesus' name. Amen. There's good stuff in the fridge. Hallelujah. Amen. Fried chicken and, well, I better not talk about food. You know, it's, it's about lunchtime. Okay, and he's poured out his grace upon us without measure. Oh my gosh. He didn't just give us a little bit of grace. Oh, let's, I've got a picture here. I'm going to pour out some grace on my people. Let's see if I can just get three drops on that person. Yeah. No, he's pour, he just pours out the whole picture on us. Amen. God is so good all the time. In fact, he is so rich in kindness and grace that he purchased our freedom with the blood of his son and forgave our sins. I mean, you talk about being accepted. He not just said, oh, you're accepted. No, he's made us a part of his family. He's forgiven our sins, calls us sons and daughters. He's opened his house to us. What more can he do to make us feel accepted? And he's also promised that nothing can separate us from God's love. Look at Romans 8, 38 and 39. And I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today nor our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. That is, is that awesome or what? We're accepted and he's promised he'll never leave us or forsake us.